trying to sign up or instant on, on your PC, but the sign up button just won't work. No error, no response, just nothing. I know how frustrating that is, but don't worry, I have got some quick and easy fixes to get you up and running in no time. Let's get started. Step 1. First thing first, by refreshing the page, just hit Ctrl plus R or F5 and see if that does a trick. If not, your browser might be acting up. There is a what to do. Switch to a different browser like Chrome, Edge, or Firefox. Clear your cache. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Delete. Select cache image and files and hit clear. Turn off in ad blockers or security extensions. They can sometimes miss with website functionality. Once you have done that, reload the page and try signing up again. Step 2. If that didn't work, your internet might be an issue. Sometimes a weak or unstable connection can cause problems. Restart your Wi-Fi router. Seriously, this fixes more issues than you would think. Switch to a different network. If you have mobile data, try using a hotspot. Use a wired connection if possible. It's easily more stable than Wi-Fi. Agree fast. Try opening a different website. If it's a loading super slow, your internet is probably proper. Step 3. Still stuck, it could be your email or phone number causing the issue. Instagram doesn't always tell you when there is a problem with you info. Try using different emails like Yahoo or Outlook. If you are set up with a phone number, request a verification code and try again. If you have tried to print an account with your email, try with a phone number. Step 4. Okay, what if Instagram itself is a problem? Sometimes their server go down and there is nothing wrong on your end. Here's how to check. Go to downdetector.com and search for Instagram. If you see a bunch of reports, Instagram is probably having issues. If that's the cause, you can do is wait and try again later. Step 5. If all else fails, try sign up through the Instagram app on your mobile phone instead of using your PC. Download the app, create your account there, and then log into your computer. This workaround has helped a lot of people when the website was not covered, and that's it. 